Little household inventions like the shoehorn, the door stopper, are often taken for granted, but it takes a spark of genius to think up something so perfectly simple. SNN's John Woodruff joins us now with more on how a young Florida boy invented something that caught the attention of the most powerful man in America, John. Amber, in 2009, President Obama started the White House Science Fair, showcasing inventions and experiments from the nation's best and brightest young Einsteins, one of whom has his workshop right here on the Sun Coast. Even if you start to lose your balance, it will still give you enough time for people to twist back to the starting position. I could still use this now. 12-year-old inventor Peyton Robertson wowed President Obama this week at the White House Science Fair. It straightens out through hydrogen bonding and it expands like this. Of course, every kid scientist needs a laboratory, somewhere like Delaney Manufacturing in Sarasota. And he called us up about a week and a half ago and said, hey, We've been invited to the White House Science Fair. Can you have this done in a week? John Smelser is the owner of Delaney, where they took Robertson's design for retractable training wheels from a rough sketch to a prototype fit for the president. Bring up uh, YouTube and there they are, sitting right in front of the president. He's, yeah, okay, we'll get this all subtle and get subtle from this. Well, he's got another thing he wants you to work on. So, uh, <laughs> I don't know what the new thing is, but I guess we'll be finding out. And here at Delaney, they can take anything you can dream up, from a grocery bag handle to a car part, and take it from the back of a napkin to a working prototype within seven days using the magic of technology. With a 3D printer, we can send the CAD files right from the computer right to the printer. The printer will make the, uh, the part. You take it out, put it in your hand. But 3D printed prototypes are just the beginning. In the back of the building, Production models are made from injection molds and packaged for retail. We have literally new things every day. It's kind of an amazing, it's a fun job. You come to work, you just never know what's gonna come in through the door. Now it can sometimes be a little tricky to figure out what these inventions are used for. So Amber, I have a little game. If you can tell me what this does, you can keep it. Oh my, well. I, I looked at it before and it looks like one of the tools that the eye doctor will use to hold over your eye and, and check your vision, I... but I don't think that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> no, not at all, actually. Uh, it's actually a training device for pool players. See, when you're looking at a tricky bank shot, you'll put this on top of the ball you're aiming at, and this arrow will tell you where it's going to go, and then you'll just aim at this dot. So my pool game won't get any better now. <laughs> that might. <laughs> Thanks, John. <laughs>